guys Lisa Mom. welcome back to my channel y'all already know what time it is it's time for let me gas you up happy Monday so of course we have our three pals here pal number one with the pink highlighter this week pal number two with the orange highlighter and pal number three with the yellow highlighter so of course you want to close your eyes for a few seconds meditate on the piles and choose the pile or the piles if it is more than one that calls out to you using your intuition and I will see you guys at your reading so what gas do you need this week let's find out Hey, pal number one, if you chose the pink highlighter, welcome to your reading. We're about to get right into it. And of course, you know it's not a Gas Me Up reading without the Gas Me Up songs. And if you would like the link to the Gas Me Up D playlist, it is in the description box below. But we're going to get right into it and see what five songs we get for you guys this week. So we have Big Shot by Gunna. We have You Don't Know by Kiara Sherd. No Flockin' by Kodak Black. Hollywood by Jay-Z and Beyonce. Y'all, that's on song. <laughs> and then we have Hard by Rihanna. Okay, so I like those songs. It was a pretty, um, how can I say it? It was like a mix of a whole bunch of different genres. So we might have a whole bunch of mixed energies in this pile. But we about to get into it and see what is going on. Or maybe y'all could even be having like mixed feelings about something. Or y'all confused on like multiple different paths that you could take. So we're going to get right into the cards and see what is going on. First we have Helpful People. Okay, so this is letting me know that a lot of you guys this week will be being divinely guided. Okay, you guys could be receiving help from the universe, your ancestors, your angels. So stay on the lookout for signs and even be on the lookout for people that can come into your life to help you out. Okay, let's say you're having a problem that out of nowhere a person comes into your path that can help you with the problem. So you just never know how the universe is answering your prayers this week. And of course, also, if you guys um, could be helpful to anybody, if anybody asks you for help this week, don't forget to lend out a helping hand when you can, okay? You know, what you put out there always comes back. So, you know, make sure that you are, you know, being of service where you can to the people that you can help this week as well. So, we're going to get into the rest of the cards and see what is going on. So, we have Dragonfly. Okay, live life to the fullest. Let me zoom y'all out a little bit. So we have dragonfly live life to the fullest and you know dragonflies also are a major symbol of transformation so a lot of you guys this week are just you know deciding to live life in a bigger i'm hearing more grand i'm getting like a scene um i'm getting i'm seeing the scene from the princess diaries like that like the first ball that she went to as like a princess when she was like in that blue dress and had like she was coming down the stairs like entering like into the ball so like maybe you guys are deciding to just you know get rid of everything that's holding you back when it comes to your confidence as well because y'all know how like in the beginning of the movie like she was kind of like she kind of liked to blend in in the background right but then like when her grandma came in town and you know she had the opportunity to become a princess she kind of you know became confident and let all those insecurities go in the way so that's what I'm getting like y'all are about to upgrade like y'all are about to you know live life I'll keep hearing more grand in a more grand way okay I'm getting like self-love and pampering too so maybe you guys also have been trying to keep yourselves up more I'm getting like a really like a feminine energy that like is trying to come out her shell okay so we have children okay know that your children are protected so yeah I'm, I was strong getting like a feminine energy like a motherly energy okay I'm seeing um even like uh, what's that movie how Stella got her groove back out that's one of my favorite movies but I'm getting that like y'all just may have been like in like a um a phase where you weren't you know as I'm, I'm gonna say it like this you weren't feeling yourself as much so but now I feel like you guys are like moving to this place in your mind and like on your journey where it's just like you want to feel yourself so like you're just about to start getting rid of like everything that's holding you back to live yourself to the fullest and of course if some of you guys are moms the um, universe wants you to know that your children are protected and they are safe okay and a couple of you guys um this could even be spirit babies if you um have any contact with your spirit babies um this is letting you know that they are watching you and protecting you as well we have in pisces okay your dreams your idealization of okay you know pisces is also the sign of like spirituality it's really deep dreamy energy right so this is saying like you know like i said it's time to like follow your dreams it's time to i just heard for somebody to take the blinders off 
maybe like realizing your true potential you guys you know we can only perform up into um how can i say it? we can only perform we can only allow ourselves to be as much as we think we are so I'm just feeling like y'all are just starting to think more of y'all selves, which is giving you guys more fuel to do more for yourself, love yourself more, and this is all going to give you more fuel to chase your dreams. A couple of you guys could also be in the midst of a spiritual awakening, or you just got through one, or you are just coming out of a dark night of the soul, but I'm just getting like heavy transformation vibe. I'm hearing better, like you guys are trying to do better, or you have been manifesting a better life, your dream life, and now these changes are starting to take place. I'm hearing little by little but like you know nothing happens overnight okay that you weren't prepared for or that you weren't preparing for already so we have in cancer so a heavy water energies cancer pisces in the building i i knew y'all i felt a motherly vibe cancer is the sign of the mother okay intuition to protect um attitudes from the past your feelings yeah like i'm just really getting like with this pal a couple of you guys could even have like lower self-esteem in the past or um you were just working on becoming more confident in yourself, your abilities, your talents, okay? And now I'm hearing, I'm hearing more money, more problems by, um, who's that, P. Diddy? Um, I'm hearing that song. So I'm just feeling like y'all are coming out. I just keep hearing that, um, keep hearing that, um, what's it called? That, that chorus, that verse, I'm coming out. Like, y'all are about to, like, show, like, all the hard work you've been putting in spiritually. Like, it's literally about to manifest on the outside, like. I'm getting like a vision of like a, a rose like blooming like I'm just like if you chose this power like you're probably like blooming or coming out of some type of transformation where you were raising your self-esteem you were healing from things in the past that um you know kind of you felt took away from your essence okay that's what I'm trying to get in look at this flower too like something blooming like in this tiger it's just like you're becoming more comfortable in your skin and who you are and showing like the real you. We have emotional loss. Yeah, what did I say? I felt something may have took a, taken away your essence. This could have been like a love situation as well or a family situation with the cancer here. Or some, maybe something happened on your path and you weren't able to follow a dream that you once wanted to pursue or something happened. And it's like something like took away from you emotionally. And now I'm, I'm hearing get your fire back. Like you literally getting your groove back, your fire back. It's like you're, if you've been like transforming, like you're like coming out and finally you're getting to see the um the results of all the healing work you have done spiritually that is the theme here we have trapped in fear it's in reverse though yes if you chose this pal you are blooming okay and like i'm hearing more desirable too so you guys are becoming you know more desirable to people who are attracted to you because it's this new confidence y'all think about it like um if you seek somebody you know just living their life shining bright think about how attractive that is like that is the energy that y'all are exuding now like just i don't know i'm just getting an upgraded energy an upgrade in aura okay a couple of you guys could have even been spending time out in nature more okay which is boosting your aura as well and it's making you become more in tune with yourself your emotions and the earth okay i'm just getting like a, a sense of like somebody that has just been like in the cocoon like a butterfly like you was a caterpillar right and then it's like you you were in the cocoon and now you're coming out of the cocoon phase and you're blooming into all that you have been working hard to see and be you guys know that the changes that we want to make within ourselves that of course they manifest on the inside first and now since your changes have gotten done manifesting there people are about to start noticing on the outside okay i'm feeling like y'all are starting to notice something different about yourselves too y'all mindset could be different as well we have mental conflict yeah i feel like you guys I just feel like it was something that was keeping y'all trapped in y'all heads for so long and now you're finally free from that burden. For some of y'all, this is a love connection or um, something that was keeping you down or keeping you sad. This could have been some type of heartbreak or this could have been something that just happened that you felt lower your self-esteem, okay? And I'm just getting to feel like you're about to just be even more confident than you have ever been because of that loss as well. Like, the loss... Um, may have like brought you back but like what you have learned and how much you have grown is about to slingshot you forward boom we have the waiting game yep I feel like whatever this was it happened some time ago and like it's literally like I'm hearing like whoo 
like you like a relief to be over whatever it was that's keeping you was keeping you trapped in your head okay it could have definitely been like an emotional situation with all this water here okay family situation um a breakup uh just something that happened um yeah that's what i'm getting we have truth be told okay so like I said, I feel like y'all, you guys realize the truth about y'all selves. Like you were able to come to terms with certain emotions that you were having, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like y'all, like y'all accepted the truth. Y'all accepted something, and y'all acceptance caused y'all to actually heal it and move past it, okay? Yeah. Yep. Deep knowings maybe too something came to y'all intuition right the truth about something came to y'all intuition and from that point over that point on you decided to change i'm seeing the movie dream girls has anybody watched dream girls recently or that could be a sign for somebody um and, I, and then you know the song all you have to do is dream i'm hearing that's um somebody's ancestors and spirit guides as well trying to um tell them like all you got to do is ask so maybe it's something too that you guys can ask help from your ancestors or um uh your spirit guides for from and they're saying like all you have to do is dream and they'll be there like all you have to do is ask and they'll help you all you have to do is ask for the signs and you'll receive them so like a lot of y'all too could be learning how to ask and believe in more in the power of the universe and the things that you want we have to go the distance yeah believing more in what you want y'all once y'all believe in it like you can make a plan to actually get it because you know it's possible okay you're less likely to go after something that you don't believe in right so it's like y'all just get i'm here i was hearing revelations y'all keep getting like epiphanies or y'all could just be realizing certain truths and like realizing that you don't have to be a, a a certain way or do things the way people will expect you to do them you can go after your dreams and go after the things that you want okay i'm getting with this pal like y'all probably went against somebody as well like this could have like been your parents or like a love interest or like a relationship maybe it was something somebody in your life that thought you should live your life a certain way and you was like nah bro <laughs> and you like went the distance and went into a different way i feel like y'all are trailblazers and like rule breakers as well it's like you chose what was not expected of you but that was the right choice we have nothing is yet set in stone yeah because i feel like y'all know that y'all can choose y'all own path like nothing is set like y'all have free will like y'all can make the choices that y'all want to make for y'all so we're saying continue to live life to the fullest the more like you live life the more you absorb the more you take advantage of your experience experiences the more you can get out of it okay and then we have you and your loved ones are safe again so somebody um with your children and new moon of cancer if you are really worried about your children or the safe the safety and well-being of your children or somebody in your family know that it is all right okay especially if you are a cancer especially if you're a cancer heavy water energy heavy on the emotions in this pal but like in a good way or in like a healing way okay so some of you guys like i said could even went against like maybe something your family wanted and it's saying like you know you are safe like everybody is, is safe as long as y'all are not making decisions that puts anybody in harm like living the your, your life the way you want to live it you know it's nothing wrong with that that's actually what you should do we have sovereignty up because you are the queen or king of your own world okay the queen and the king you know they just sit up there they make decisions okay they rule okay they're the ruler so with this sovereignty it's like I'm feeling like y'all are releasing expect expectations of how it should have been or how somebody told you like you realize the truth you realize that it didn't have to be how everybody how everybody said it had to be like you had a deep knowing to go after something else because nothing is yet set in stone and now it's like you're about to be rewarded for trusting your intuition and moving forward we have earth what I said y'all was connecting with the earth yeah I feel like y'all were going through a lot of spiritual changes but now they're about to ground in the physical 
this pal like y'all have been healing spiritually and emotionally y'all have been integrating y'all this is my pal y'all probably been doing a lot of shadow work trying to release fear trying to become more confident um i'm healing hearing somebody as well was trying to re recover trigger warning i'm sorry y'all trigger warning i'm sorry if you were like trying to recover from like any like um sexual trauma or somebody taken away from your femininity i'm hearing that as well that is being um restored and you're healing from that so like good job y'all like y'all are really doing what y'all are supposed to be and i feel like with this earth here this is reminding me of the empress card so it's like y'all are becoming the empress y'all are on y'all way look radical acceptance what i say like you accepted the truth about something or something was revealed to you and you decided that you know you don't have to accept what everybody gives you but you can go the distance to the life that you want to create we have three of swords yep i feel like it was some type of heartbreak here i'm getting a family situation or a, a, a relationship or something maybe um you guys had a family with somebody and um that could have been the heartbreak a family um, may have split up or you could have like left the relationship or something like that y'all but something that took away from your essence or just made you feel down for a couple months y'all are healing and moving past eight of swords yep something that kept you trapped in your head y'all got emotional loss and trapped twice in mental conflict so this could have been more mental um than physical we have two of wands mental mental and emotional y'all were going through a mental and emotional um transformation y'all chose the path the hard path to like healing and actually accepting and becoming a better version we have king of pentacles this whatever this is could have um interrupted your money as well in some way but don't worry y'all it's coming back it's all coming back towards Rico Capricorn energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, then we have the Hermit in reverse. So yeah, like y'all were going through some type of spiritual enlightenment or awakening or some type of introspection that y'all are coming out of now and y'all are realizing that you rule. What's that line? Y'all, I keep seeing the Princess Diaries in my head. And she's like queens they rule okay that like 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 i think that that's a sign for y'all to consider yourselves to be more royal okay so we have all me like yo it's all about you y'all keep on seeing different shows like disney could be really important to somebody but i'm seeing the proud family and then y'all know that episode where what was that i don't i don't remember the, the theme of the episode but i just know that it was a song and it was like it's all about me so it's like all about y'all like i feel like y'all could have also took y'all focus off off of like being that's what it could be too y'all could have took y'all focus off of trying to help everybody else out and trying to like you know fix everybody else's problem and y'all put more focus on yours as well that could be for some of y'all learning how to love yourself and put yourself first okay and then we have now asap now asap what's this about we have air sign so gemini libra aquarius and then we have beauty so some of y'all if you an air sign this is what i'm getting with all me now asap air sign and beauty so for some of y'all like if y'all are air sign like y'all probably got somebody peeping y'all that feel like they need y'all now because that's all them and they think you beautiful okay <laughs> so you could be the air sign and you could be dealing with some dealing with the one but i feel like this is like a um, a message to somebody out there like you don't know if it's for you or or this could be y'all that like feel like it's somebody that y'all want to have in y'all lives because you know beauty and a couple of y'all it's just that you know now is the time to realize you know just how beautiful and amazing you are but somebody definitely peeping somebody in this pal y'all could be the air sign or this person could be the air sign but yeah it's like after this heartbreak boom it's gonna be somebody else y'all know you know i'm just getting that you know <sighs> this healing that is coming to an end right now well not to an end because you know healing is never done but this chapter this phase is just about to open y'all up so much like it's crazy like and i just feel like y'all are about to believe in y'all beauty and in y'all femininity more than y'all ever have like wow okay y'all i'm feeling this pal i love the vibes we have the moon 
the opportunity to improve your plans listen to intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger boom perfect and i feel like the moon here is too because like y'all was being hidden right like y'all was being hidden like y'all was going through this transformation now it's like y'all are coming out right and now y'all about to shine so like boom like there it is like I'm strongly getting this beauty card again. Like, I'm really getting that. Like, y'all are about to have so much more confidence in, like, y'all selves and, like, the energy you radiate in your beauty. If you saw this part, I'm strongly getting that you have been working really hard to heal your divine feminine energy. Okay? We have Bible Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. And then last, we have epiphany. What I say? A revelation of some type. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. Yep. Boom. So, yeah. Y'all are, this is the power this week. Healing your divine feminine energy, your essence, your energy, your aura. Being more attractive, okay? Um, not to say that y'all weren't attractive in the past, but your energy is just becoming more attractive. Y'all know it's always room for improvement. And it's because you're having these realizations about yourself and how you want to move forward. So, yeah. That's what I'm getting for you, pal number one. Congratulations. That is beautiful. And then this was pink. So, yep. Yeah definitely healing y'all divine feminine energy so that is all i have for you guys if you enjoyed this reading don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see y'all later hey pal number two if you chose the orange highlighter welcome to your reading we're about to get right into it y'all already know it's not a gas me up readings without the gas me up songs and if you are interested in the gas me up the playlist the link is in the description box below but we are about to get right into it and see what five songs you guys get this week okay so we have slippery by the migos and gucci Mane. we have bounce back by big sean we have Six Inch by Beyonce, y'all. That's my favorite song. Yes, we have B I T C H by Megan Thee Stallion, and then we have Crew by Golink. Okay, so what I'm getting from that, y'all? A couple of you guys, or I don't even want to say it like that. Okay, some some people may have thought you fell off. Okay, they thought, but really, you just went in, right? You went inside. You drew your energy back to create something better, and I feel like y'all are about to, you know, come out with whatever this is. Okay, because slippery to bounce back. It's like you know, y'all kind of, you know, maybe had a setback. Y'all kind of may have slipped up, but it's like. From slippery to bounce back and then six inch it's like whatever setback y'all had is just about to make y'all better okay like y'all are literally about to put on y'all six inch heels like beyonce said <laughs> and y'all are about to get to work y'all are about to use whatever that setback was to propel you forward okay y'all know like a slingshot they say you cannot propel yourself forward quickly unless you draw yourself back so that's what i feel like y'all been doing or y'all are coming out of so we about to get into the cards and see what comes out. We have be assertive in reverse. Exactly. What I say. Y'all took y'all energy back. Y'all released control. Y'all let go in some way. Or y'all drew back, you know, whatever energy y'all was to go within, to reflect, and to improve. And now is the time where you have gained the information or the growth that you needed. You can propel yourself forward. So that's what I'm getting. Like it's going to be a major comeback after a setback if you chose this path but we're gonna get into the rest of the cards and see what's going on we have go with the flow let things happen what i tell y'all what look at y'all my freaking my alarm is six inch by beyonce and it literally just i'm sorry to say popcorn but it literally just came on exactly y'all exactly like y'all whatever setback y'all hurt had i'm even here in two years this could have been like two years in the making as well whatever setback y'all had like ever since y'all let go and let it go with the flow and let things happen things are about to just start happening out of nowhere i'm just i'm seeing um somebody that is kind of like startled and y'all look back like what was that <laughs> but it's like actually like a good thing it's like a surprise from the universe so like don't be a little shocked since y'all let go or y'all pull back to grow that things just start happening okay because you finally on the path we have dreams believe in your dreams all snap if you chose this pal you about to have a dream come true because of your hard work or you're about to start working harder for your dreams to come true 
we have mercury okay so shout out to my gemini shout out to my virgos like i said i feel like y'all was like maybe went within and y'all tried to get y'all mind right with this mercury here y'all was gaining information y'all was gaining knowledge to move forward right and it's like now y'all accumulated all these things that y'all know y'all are probably about to start using the information because i feel like a couple of you guys could have been like in a learning period for like a, a, an extended period of time where y'all was just learning information not necessarily using it but now y'all are about to start using it and i feel like that could have been part of the reason too why y'all felt like y'all was set back y'all know because if we like learn 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 all day we can learn all we want but if we don't apply it to whatever it is um that we want to achieve it really doesn't work in our favor so i feel like y'all just have gained so much information now that like y'all i'm here and let it rip like y'all about to just let it rip okay so we have in the sixth house virgo energy what i say shout out to my virgo so strong virgo energy y'all know virgo is the sign of like perfection but virgos are some hard workers okay y'all i have mars in virgo and like they i read somewhere that that was like the most hardest working like placement that you can get for virgo and um who was a um my, um barack obama also has mars in virgo so comment below if you also have Mars and Virgo that means you are a natural hard worker but for all like y'all that chose this pal anyway I'm just seeing that like y'all are just about to start working harder and putting the information to use maybe some of y'all even like create content or y'all distribute some type of information and I'm feeling like y'all are about to find a more clever way to do that as well I'm getting just like a, a um a upgrade and worth ethic that creates a whole new beginning whatever you're trying to do or bring in so like let's say for instance if you're a youtuber okay you've been working harder and becoming more disciplined now that's about to reflect in your followers or in your content okay we have fertility yep y'all been growing y'all been growing y'all been gaining knowledge gaining skill this is the empress card y'all been being more creative we have taurus energy strong on the earth energy um in the gemini virgo strong virgo strong taurus but yeah i just feel like y'all are about to give birth to a new you some of y'all if you feel drawn to power number one you might want to go watch that as well we have authority okay so not things here we go we have the emperor and the empress here so a couple of you guys could um be um balancing out your masculine and feminine energies right now as well too so a couple of you guys could have just been like in this feminine energy of like being receptive learning being intuitive right and now the that is the feminine part and now the masculine part is taking action and putting everything that you have learned to use okay actually doing the work so y'all balancing it out you got the intuition the creativity the and the knowledge to match the grind and the work effort and the you know the work ethic i'm feeling we have harmony what what I look at that i told y'all y'all have balanced out your masculine and feminine energies y'all can switch between both or balance out both when you need to now i'm strongly 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 getting that y'all know when to be more logically and then y'all know when to you know think more with your heart i'm getting like a balance of energies okay we have conflict and defeat so I feel like you guys may have felt conflicted and you guys may like have felt like y'all were and then look three four five six so progression but I feel like y'all may have been feeling like y'all were at a loss but it's only because the changes that y'all were making hadn't manifested on the outside yet you were making the spiritual changes but it hadn't yet manifested till you actually um putting in the work in your masculine energy and now that that's balancing out y'all can have these things that y'all have been dreaming about we have come to the edge so y'all it's time to take a leap of faith whatever it is that y'all was thinking about doing or planning to do or wanted to bring into this world 
Um, it's time to take a leap of faith and create whatever it is. We have a new life. Some of y'all, that's a completely whole brand new life. Y'all didn't thought up and manifested a whole brand new life. And now it's time to take a leap of faith into it. It's time to live it, okay? It's time to be the person that you have been manifesting, all right? It's like literally once you decide that you are that person, be it okay like i'm feeling like with this pal like y'all have been developing on the inside so long it's like nothing is stopping you like y'all literally can like snap right now and say okay i'm about to act like the person who i want to be who i have been dreaming of becoming we have here and now okay so i'm here realistic so some of you guys could be becoming more practical as well it's like yep you're dreaming you're doing all that but it's like you're now finally starting to set out the groundwork and the plans and figuring out how it's actually going to happen and come together okay because you have look at the bigger picture full moon and sagittarius you guys are seeing things in a different way you're seeing how everything all your choices how everything that you do adds up to who you are and the things that you can accomplish so we have sagittarius energy gemini virgo energy strong we got taurus energy we got aries energy we have luck is on your side so sagittarius energy heavy y'all so once y'all look at the bigger picture know that y'all are about to be some lucky mfs <laughs> y'all are about to get lucky 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 i'm just getting like y'all are i'm hearing i'm seeing things to what they are in the best way possible we have will yep and you guys have the willpower to move forward and bring anything into fruition like i'm just getting like a, a mindset change uh like i said just like shifting from the feminine energy to being able to bring out the masculine energy when you guys need to we have compassion so hold compassion for yourself and others on this journey okay I'm hearing more so for yourselves because y'all know when y'all going through a lot of changes, y'all got to be more gentle with yourselves than usual, okay? Because, you know, you know, not everybody going to get things right the first time. A lot of the times it takes us trials and, you know, trial and error to get to exactly what works. So hold compassion for yourself while y'all are making these changes. Wisdom. So, yep, y'all have gained some type of divine wisdom. Y'all have lived out and worked on healing y'all feminine energy. Now it's time to live out y'all masculine and finally bring them into harmony, into balance, okay? A couple of you guys could even be, this could be a soulmate connection here too. That's about to balance out after some wisdom was gained on both parts. We have everything is fine. <laughs> So y'all was acting like everything was fine. Well, I mean, everything is always fine. It always works out to our highest um, good. But like I said, y'all hold compassion for yourselves when y'all going through these tough times. We have five of pentacles. Some of y'all could have been having a lot of financial problems. And I'm telling y'all in the coming weeks, that is about to be no longer. Okay. Or things are about to start getting better. Can I have a, a card for the five of pentacles? The emperor, oh my god, perfect y'all. Look, the emperor. Clarify the five of pentacles. I got the emperor. Y'all about to start taking charge of y'all money. If y'all been having money problems and this is all resonating for you, y'all are about to step into the energy where like, I'm here, um, never broke again. Like y'all are sick, sick, sick of having these financial problems so y'all finally about to start taking charge. We have, what I say? Queen of pentacles here. Yep, y'all about to become the queen of y'all pentacles. A lot of y'all about to start grounding these ideas. Like, I'm strongly getting that. Like, all the money is in y'all head. Not like that. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, all the ideas are in y'all head. Like, all the, the things that you could take action from. Like, the, you, the ideas are still in your head. And now y'all are about to start creating them and actually bringing them into the physical. We have Nine of Pentacles. Look, y'all, this is beautiful. Y'all got to be in your bag. Your bag, okay? Y'all, I'm hearing, um leaked the song leaked by little baby that's my song but i'm just hearing that like i'm in my bag now like can't nobody tell me nothing so we have on and off here so y'all could be y'all could be going back and forth like i said when we changing nothing is like set in song nothing is like you know we we can sway back and forth between you know you know whatever it is that we're going through so it's like you know it's time to sw flip the switch on i'm hearing non-stop by drake i just flipped the switch so just you know turn on whatever it is inside you that needs to be turned on to you know finally start putting in the work physically 
we have heartbreak here so some of y'all could have even been in a um, on and off relationship and that is coming to an end with this here maybe that on and off was this conflict and defeat and now that's starting to harmonize as well we have seduction yep this is this could definitely be a relationship some of y'all are um, harmonizing your masculine and feminine energies preparing for union for the your soulmate or somebody that you are supposed to be with a divine counterpart of some type and then we have sweet dreams y'all hearing um the song sweet dreams by beyonce has been shuffling on my phone a lot this week so it's like sweet dream a beautiful nightmare it's like y'all are literally i'm just getting balanced with this pal coming into balance coming i'm hearing inner union as well can I have more about this relationship, this on and off, this heartbreak? The Empress again. And we have Temperance. Y'all, we have the Imp. Y'all, this is crazy. And then we have the Tower here. Okay. So, and then the Four of Wands and Judgment. Y'all, so some of y'all could have literally just left a situation. Or you're getting ready to. Or is balance being brought to it? It's it's a change in relationships for some of you guys. And it's crazy. We have the Empress and the Emperor here, with the Temperance, Sagittarius energy, healing, and then we have the Empress, the the Emperor, and then we have Harmony from Conflict and Defeat. A lot of y'all, this is something with y'all divine counterpart. A couple of you guys, a couple of you guys could be twin flames, but there's a dynamic healing, a, a dynamic of healing and balancing out energies between a pair of divine counterparts here okay we got page of area reliable clever educated balance and excellent opportunity will be offered to you scholarships or the pursuit of education time to get to work okay so y'all you know watch out for opportunities that could come and you know do not jump in hesitated opportunities okay it's okay to take a little bit of time to think about it but y'all you know when you know something is right for you you know it's right we have Nida Raphael, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective, committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topic that makes your heart flutter. So yeah, some of y'all are definitely about to come into, and then the wind want to pick up. Some of y'all definitely are about to come into union with y'all divine counterpart, soulmate, or somebody that y'all are meant to be with, okay? We have for Ada Raphael, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So like I said, there's going to be some type of change in relationship. A couple of you guys could be getting out of a relationship um, to go to move on to what's better for you. Or some of y'all could be healing a relationship that ended with a soulmate of yours in coming together and harmonizing. Okay? And then... Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like, inner union here. Y'all are balancing out y'all energies to prepare for the relationship that y'all have been manifesting for a couple of y'all as well. So that is what I am getting for you. I'm actually going to get one more card. I don't know why I'm being called to get one more card, but we're going to do it. We have the four swords here. Come out of come out of this energy of hesitating. I feel like it's, it could be something in y'all face already that is meant to be in y'all lives or opportunity or something. And it's like you keep going back and forth, you hesitating. But it's like take a leap of faith towards the unknown, okay? And then one more. Yeah. We got two fours. So a couple of y'all could be saying four, four, four a lot. Four, four can mean something to you guys. But y'all, it's time to stop hesitating on an opportunity and just go for it, okay? If, if I'm here, um, what is that quote? Um, take the risk or lose the chance. It's something y'all um, have been being presented by the um, divine. This could even be some type of idea or something. It, whatever it is that you need to take a leap of faith on, that's what you need to do. Because I'm, I'm hearing just do it. So yeah, whatever that is, y'all, that's what I'm getting. I hope you enjoyed that pal, pal, not pal, that reading pal number two. And I will see you guys next time. Hey, pal number three, if you chose the yellow highlighter this week, welcome to your reading. We're about to get right into it. And of course, y'all know it's not a Gas Me Up reading without the Gas Me Up songs. And if you would like access to the Gas Me Up Deep playlist, it is in the description box below. But we are about to get to it and see what five songs you guys need to hear. These songs can hold an important message for you or just be signed in some way. So we're about to see what comes out. We have No Limit by g Easy, the remix. We have Rex on Rex by Lil Pump. 
We have Juke Juke by Chance the Rapper. We have God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. And then we have Mary Mary Can't Give Up Now. I feel like y'all have been manifesting or y'all have been praying for something. Um, I don't know why this her hometown. Some of y'all might be visiting y'all hometown soon. Or maybe the answer to something that you've been wondering is where you come from. Or you're being asked to go back to where you come from. Or this could just even be simply your ancestors trying to, you know, help you out or send you messages or signs, okay? So we're about to get right into it and see what is going on for you guys this week. So we have not the right time, okay? So maybe it's... It, it, it's okay, I feel like y'all have been praying. Y'all may have been praying for something, um... um to work out or praying to bring something into your lives but there's some lessons to learn before it comes into your life like it's not the right time for something to happen but you will intuitively know when the right time is so i'm just hearing patience be patient be patient with something be patient with the un the future as it unfolds and release control so we have potential. Think big for your future. So this could even be something about the future. This could be a dream or something you were wanting to bring into your life that hasn't happened yet. But it, the only reason it hasn't happened, not because it's not going to happen, but because it's not the right time. I'm hearing that something could happen around Christmas. Maybe it's not the right time now, you know, Thanksgiving time, but Christmas time for somebody. Because look at the snow globe. Somebody could, who chose this pal could get a surprise around Christmas. I keep hearing that. And these things, these fairies are me of fireflies so fireflies could be a sign to y'all um somebody could be moving here too around christmas as well somebody could be moving soon i'm hearing hmm we have intuition trust your intuition so yeah i'm gonna just trust my intuition on that <laughs> a couple of you guys could be moving maybe you guys were manifesting a move right and they, the divine was saying it's not the right time it's not the right time but like when, like i said when it the right the time is right like whatever it is that you have been wanting you're gonna get it okay and a couple for a lot of y'all a couple of y'all it could be a move or it could be starting something new i'm more so i'm really getting moved and i'm really um hearing something about christmas okay Maybe a couple of you guys could get an opportunity to um, to move around Christmas or something um, that will allow you to take a step that you have been waiting to take for a long time. We have 8th house, personal power, Scorpio energy. So death and, death and rebirth, transformation, a major change. I'm getting this like either, either y'all are going to discover y'all power. Like I'm getting something big anyway with this... Um, pile because it say think big but the word big is sticking out to me and y'all know i love the song big by pastor mike jr okay but something big is going to happen oh i'm strongly getting around christmas or between that time where you're going to step into this power that you didn't realize that you had because you're going to be trusting yourself and some of y'all this could be an opportunity some of y'all this could just be a shift in mindset but it's a big change here a big change on the way between now and christmas or something maybe something that happens around christmas can be like the catalyst to this change we have the north node wow destiny if you chose this pal destiny is the thing you're about to walk into your destiny or you're walking into your destiny as we speak as you listen to this and the message is to trust yourself okay that's why i kept hearing where you came from where you came from or somebody's hometown i'm just getting like you're not gonna be that same person or you're you're upgrading you're 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 becoming a different person than you were when you were in your hometown and that's gonna allow you to shift into this destiny I keep hearing like something about home or like don't forget where you came from or something like that or switching homes we have material harvest it's in reverse though okay maybe it wasn't the right time to do something because y'all might not have all the money that y'all need right now or maybe money was slow but for, the, for some reason I'm just getting like this is current energy like like this is gonna flip like y'all like y'all could be having a tough time right now but i'm hearing suddenly like it's gonna flip like and the wind is picking up we have heart chakra opening your heart chakra i'm hearing follow your heart 
you're about to follow your heart and your dreams or following your heart is a what is leading you into your dreams trusting your intuition okay a lot of y'all are about to shift from having financial problems to making money off y'all passion okay we have balance here it's some type of balance coming in we have memories of love and then we have six and nine okay maybe two maybe some of y'all lost some money within a re old relationship maybe some of y'all lost some money in the past within an old relationship but balance is going to be restored because y'all are stepping into y'all destiny now hmm we have unfinished him yeah i felt it some of y'all could be getting out of a relationship or you was in a relationship and that caused you to lose something maybe you could have lost money you could have lost energy whatever it is whatever you were giving you felt like you lost it or you feel like you lost something but balance is coming in um but you have to finish this chapter out in order to step into this destiny we have message in a bottle here so maybe somebody message you maybe you need to message somebody or somebody from your past is gonna message you talking about y'all got unfinished business <laughs> somebody think they got unfinished business with y'all what i'm thinking what's that movie i'm thinking of the best man i don't know why i'm thinking about that maybe some of y'all like that movie um but i'm just feeling like is it i hope it's not about to rain please let me get through this reading please 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 okay uh okay i'm gonna hurry up um uh, maybe this could have even been somebody something that made y'all cry in the past as well but with this message in the bottom here i'm finished Tiffany here i'm definitely getting like a chapter is about to close out or y'all are about to receive a message or y'all are about to send out a message that is going to allow y'all to be propelled into this destiny here we have breathe here yep breathe i'm hearing changes breathe because change happens when it's time like y'all this is divine timing Y'all are being divinely guided into y'all destiny right now. But it's some chapters y'all have to close out. Maybe in the past with other people or other things to allow y'all to shift into this. Oh my God, it's starting to rain. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. Sorry, I have to put my cards up just in case it want to start raining for real. But we have Believe in the Impossible. Y'all, I'm getting like this pal. It's going to be like big like something is really about to come in and transform your life for the better for some of y'all this could be a message and like i said it could be incoming or this could be a message to to wrapping like up a chapter but like if you chose this pal like something is about to happen like magical like we have a personal issue reaches resolution what i say full moon and cancer cancer energy scorpio energy here something that y'all have been worried about for a long time we have fruition what i tell y'all so, y'all have been really worried like y'all been worried about y'all future y'all been worried about y'all money y'all been worried about matters of the heart relationships love if y'all gonna get all that because y'all been manifesting and manifesting and you don't see it coming but it's like gonna come all at once or at the same time well i'm getting strong something about christmas something about christmas we have water yeah, y'all probably been in y'all feelings because things haven't been happening the way you wanted them to happen or expected them to. But like I'm telling y'all, it's about to happen in a bigger way than you even anticipated. Wow, this is good. We have mi <gasps> miracles, y'all, and it's starting to rain. I'm hearing, um, what's that song, Rain On Us? It's like y'all are about to be showered with the blessings all at once. Not all, I mean, not all at once, but like y'all were prepared, so like y'all didn't you know mess up any blessings not mess it up but like you know how we the universe doesn't give us more than what we are prepared for so if you get all these blessings and you aren't prepared like say like say the blessing is a large sum of money the universe don't want to bless you with a large sum of money before you um learn how to manage the money so you can actually keep it like that so i'm just feeling like y'all just had to learn learn that that y'all y'all job before was to learn and now that you have learned you're about to be receiving your destiny we have ace of pentacles here so like i said not not necessarily right now but like in the coming weeks like definitely christmas like this offer will be given to you some type of offer we have the devil here 
but it's right over the personal issue which is revolution resolution so i'm getting like maybe y'all could have even been battling like with a toxic person um friends a mindset a habit anything and i feel like you closing this out this is the issue that could have reached a resolution now that's about to allow you to start being more receptive and allow the things to come into your life maybe that's what it was too like maybe y'all been asking for money but y'all could have maybe had a bad habit in y'all lives that you know the universe wants to make sure that that was all the way out and done with before they gave you this offer um so that you could keep your blessings we have six of cups again six of cups six of cups so for some of y'all yeah y'all were healing from y'all past Y'all are healing from y'all past and releasing old toxic negativity or whatever it was. Opening up your heart chakra and doing the, the work inside. And now like y'all dreams is about to come true. Something is about to come true or something good. Something is about to come true or something extremely good is about to happen after a period of being stuck. What else? Yep, some completion. The world. Something is completing so something else can begin. Completion and moving forward two major arcana something is completing so you can be prepared for it okay they have to tear down the old so the new could come and move in we have toxic yep y'all are ending the toxic chapter uh, y'all are ending the toxic phase of your lives where y'all were like um maybe like i said had toxic connections or they're just like you know not in the best energy like that chapter is completing and coming to an end that's why it wasn't the right time before because these things were still in your life we got cancer energy capricorn energy taurus virgo um pisces scorpio yep cancer energy strongly though we have fun so yeah the toxic chapter is over now it's time to have more fun I'm connecting this with this heart chakra too. Y'all might be um, feeling more free spirited, or y'all will be more likely to open y'all selves up to y'all passions. We have lightning bolt. Yep, I'm getting like a like I'm get, I'm y'all. I'm keep feeling like suddenly, like it's gonna be like like all of a sudden some big thing is gonna happen to propel you into a new opportunity. A, a big sign y'all a major sign for y'all and don't think i'm crazy when i tell y'all this time but y'all would know that this message is for you if if y'all don't got no money <laughs> like i'm dead ass like if y'all are not in the best financial situation y'all y'all been struggling y'all feel like y'all don't have no money it's because y'all are about to get that money okay but the universe is teaching you um to appreciate what you have and to budget out what you have before it gives you everything that you want so a big indicator that this blessing or whatever these miracles are is for you is you having um i don't want to say less than how can i say it you either having no money you having financial problems or you um not having all that you manifest in terms of like your finances we have Fiji. So y'all make sure y'all drinking y'all water. We got water twice. Maybe y'all want to take some spiritual baths. Maybe y'all want to cleanse y'all selves. Um, or like I said, this could even be healing from the past. Healing from um, emotions as well. Y'all know water. And healing from toxicity, okay? We have Eight of Gabriel. A great deal of activity. Sudden and immediate results. Important communication. What I say, somebody could send y'all a message or it could be a message going out from you to close out a chapter or to finish something or to start something anew or this could even be somebody that gives you an opportunity and you are messaging them back i'm hearing but it's important communication coming to y'all or important communication that y'all are going to be having between now and christmas i'm hearing we have it's important to have balance boom working multiple jobs or projects at once making work fun boom <laughs> so y'all the angels are just encouraging you to whatever it is that you do make sure that you aren't putting um too much on your plate make sure you aren't biting off more than you can chew and make sure you are keeping work fun and then we have eight of michael you can be free make a courageous choice to change your situation not seeing things clearly so there you have it that pretty much summed up everything so it's like i'm hearing it's like here it is you and your destiny it's like all you gotta do is decide that that is what you are walking into and that is what you want to be or that is what you want to have into your in your life and take the steps towards it okay i'm hearing it's up to you it's up to you like something is it's up to you to take the next step or a leap of faith or to close something out yep action take action death transformation again scorpio energy again 
transformation to walk into your destiny into the, your north node into your purpose and then working hard by any means necessary to get it get one more one more hold on wait a minute wait a minute if you were air sign if you were air sign and somebody put you in a third party or was sneaking or whatever um or doing whatever with these three cards that came out gemini libra aquarius um know that that is coming to an end as well can i get one more about this what the heck i did not expect that to come out y'all that could be this could be for somebody specific yeah what i say it's coming to an end uh, so if you were air sign or have air in your child or whatever it is a, a situation or a cycle where you were treated unfairly in love is coming to an end as well okay follow your intuition so that is what i'm getting for you pal number three if you enjoyed this reading don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next week